Welcome back. Goa was the birthplace of Indo-Western garment. This fact has been revealed in a book authored by fashion designer Wendell Rodericks. The book explores an archive that has never been researched before. Rodericks is the first person to place this history in the spotlight. Veteran fashion designer Wendell Rodericks places the history of Goan costume that has never been researched before. In his debut book titled Moda Goa, Rodericks traces the early settlers, the world's first Indo-Western clothes and the final return to Indian dress after the Portuguese left Goa. Rodericks took 11 years to write the book. He says besides the Portuguese and the Mughal clothes, Goan fashion was also influenced by Persian embroidery and Buddhist trips. Uh, Moda Goa history and style is all about uh, the history of Goa told through clothes. It was a really great uh, chance for us to, for me to show the history and the clothes of Goa starting from prehistoric right to the present day. Well, in each period we've gone through different uh, periods, you know, which even Goans themselves are not aware of. We, we've gone through Buddhist and we've gone through Jain and, and the Mughal and the uh, Tughlaqs and Khiljis. So each period has been recounted with the history but at the same time with fashion. Besides the Indian edition, the book will also have an international edition released later. Our reporter Jason Suarez with video journalist Ravindra Dalvi. AK Ground Bachao Association get out DMA Dalat Havaldar over Costa Ground acquisition issue on Friday. DMA revealed that they have given an administrative approval for acquisition of Costa Ground by the Madgaon municipality. Savio Kutino informed that the council never revealed about this clearance from the DMA. Akekars are flabbergasted. They claim that Madgaon municipality is playing gimmicks. Association says council has passed the buck onto the government over Costa Ground and have kept the agitators in dark regarding the DMA's reply favoring acquisition of the 10,000 square meter of Costa Ground. Wherein it was demanded that this land should be acquired. And accordingly, uh, lot, after lots of pressure, finally the council had taken a decision for the acquisition. And uh, uh, however, meantime, the council has also granted license for construction of uh, a building project on that ground, in spite of all the wishes of the people. And here we come to know that is, uh, this is a total mischief played by the municipal council. As uh, the director of municipal administration, Mr. Hawalar, he has clearly said that uh, this is not the uh, process. And uh, a bigger fact that has been revealed here is that this letter has also been replied. And, uh, the DMA can give administrative approval for the acquisition and for which certain documents were required. And that checklist, that uh, list of documents has been cited in that letter dated 16th of December. But even that uh, the council has not revealed to us that uh, so and so reply has come to us. So this shows that this is a mischief being played uh, on this issue. Association says local councillor should resign if he fails to solve Costa ground issue before election. How Sankwa Sota ki Amgel pa ward councillor aha Damodar Shrodkar wo lokan sar ko footing pon karta. Last meeting ate ne acquire karpa mangal le ani sangal le before election to acquisition jana dalar apun resign datlo. So to adun pasun resign dal na to lokan sagle Amgel akhi chya kan madgonga lokan sagleng ka footi da. And yeh ground to ata issue ground waspa karan main to aha kya tarun worldly setting kya le ha buildera kare. A video journalist from Panji, Omkar Farari. The Grape Escapade 2012 Food and Lifestyle Festival kicked off at Inox Courtyard from Thursday. It will go on till 29 January. Grape Escapade is organized by Goa Tourism Development Corporation along with Department of Tourism. Bailanso South and Bailanso Ekpot protested against Grape Escapade for being organized at a government premises and on Republic Day. Managing Director of GTDC says Wine Fest is just a traditional event in the calendar of Tourism Department. Right now there are about 29-30 stalls, so except for one, one or two in between and some food stalls, remaining all our wines. 
Zampa, Bio Wines, you have Revelos, you have Valones, you have Four Seasons. You have all the India's number wines here. Sula, all the India's number wine, number one wines are here. The top leading wines of India are here. And just promoting a culture, uh, uh, because uh, it's, it's just uh, having a, an event to showcase. And since we at Goa Tourism Development Corporation are uh, uh, organizing this event, it's just another event in the calendar of tourism events in Goa. Bailanzo Saad and Bailanzo Ekwat staged a protest against alcohol promotion on government land. Bailanzo Saad and Bailanzo Ekwat staged a protest against alcohol promotion on government land. Protest was held near NIO Circle at Dona Paul on Thursday evening. Soro Vikpachi Parvangi Sarkari Zamnichar Dila Ainoxacher Ice Wine Festival starts at the Ice Republic Day Sakari flag hoisting Karta Ami Constitution Ak uphold Karta Mudu. Ani Racha Magi Soro Pieta Ani Constitution Acher against Veta Kida Sarkari Zamnichar Soro Vikpak Zaina. A video journalist from Panji Umkar Farari. It's now clear that only government officials will be penalized by the Election Commission for violating code of conduct and not politicians. Election officials say there is no provision of abatement in code of conduct and only government officials can be punished. Meanwhile, 17 government departments have been found not guilty of violating code while giving government jobs. We had sought uh, information from about 17 departments. And that information was sought from their administrative secretary through general administrative department of the government. That's why we have said that wherever offers of appointment were issued, those have been kept in abeyance. Wherever appointments were issued, they are also kept in abeyance. Uh, those who have joined prior to 23rd were allowed to join, but those who have joined after 23rd have been asked to go home. Election officials are yet to get response from Election Commission of India to take suitable action against violators of election code. But it seems only department heads would be penalized for violating code. Election officials say that departmental heads should not appease their political bosses even if they are forced. What action against this politician who are forcing this uh, HOD hey. to take this? Pala, tomorrow somebody will ask you to commit suicide. Will you commit? See, uh, when, when you are working as a government servant, you have to abide by the rules and regulations which are fixed by the government or which are fixed by the administration. If at all for uh, pleasing somebody, if you are violating the laws, na naturally you are responsible for the violation and not the person who is asking you to violation. And abatement of offence under the clause applicable there now. Election officials had received some six complaints against KP MLA Babu Kavadekar, but as these complaints had no basis, they were disposed of. Chief Electoral Officer has asked Goa Police to report the incident of attack on Father Bismarck Dias' house. If need be, then Father Dias would also get police protection. Election officials are likely to declare Kumar Jua constituency as a sensitive constituency. A senior reporter Akesh Kanurkar with video journalist Sushant Pal. Let's take a short break. Stay tuned. <laughs>